Hi there and welcome to another video from Hegarty Maths, a GCSE revision video where we work through um, solving simultaneous equations but this time we're setting them up uh, and solving them from a context based, based question, usually a geometry style question. As always for more help with your GCSE or A level do check out the YouTube channel Hegarty Maths or the Twitter account. Right, let's start straight away by doing examples. Here's the first one. The sum of two numbers is 15. The difference of the two numbers is 8. Find the larger number. Right, we're going to keep our working really nice and neat and show examiners what we're doing at all stages. So we don't know the numbers, so let's introduce algebra. Let the two numbers... B, X and Y and we can translate these statements into equations. The sum of the two numbers is 15 so we could say that X plus Y is equal to 15 and it says the difference of the two numbers is 8 so X subtract Y is equal to 8. Now I'm going to assume X is the bigger number, it doesn't matter which way around you do it. Now call these equation 1 and equation 2. Now if we add these equations together, the y's will be eliminated and we'll have an equation just with x's. So if we add equation 1 and equation 2, draw a line and remember to put your plus sign so you remember what you're doing. x plus x is 2x, y add negative y is nothing, 15 add 8 is equal to 23. Therefore x, divide both sides by 2, is 23 divided by 2, which is 11.5. How do we get y? Well, sub it back into equation 1. Sub x equal 11.5 into equation 1. And you get 11.5 plus y is equal to 15. So therefore, y must be 15. Take away 11.5, which is 3.5. So our answer is 11.5 for x and 3.5 for y. Is it true that they follow this? If we add them up, those two numbers, you do get 15. If you take those numbers away from each other, you do indeed get 8, so we're correct. Example 2. A pen costs x pence, and a pencil costs y pence. Two pens and a pencil cost 50 pence. Four pens and three pencils cost one pound and ten pence. How much is a pencil? So, let's translate this statement here into an equation. Two pens and a pencil cost 50p. So how much do the pens cost? Each one costs x pence. We've got two of them, so they both cost 2x. And if you add a pencil plus the cost of a pencil, we will get 50p. Let's translate this into an equation. Four pens, four pens plus three pencils must cost £1.10. Now, this is in pounds. Let's convert everything to pence as the x and y are in pence. That's 110. Call that equation 1. Call that equation 2. Now, we want uh, to make the x or y number the same. Uh, sorry, the coefficient in front of the x or y the same so we can eliminate either x or y. Simplest thing to do might be to multiply this equation by 2. So let's do that. We would get 4x plus 2y is equal to 100, and leave this equation alone, we would get 4x plus 3y is equal to 110. Maybe call this equation 3 and this equation 4. Now, um, what we'd want to do is we'd want to take equation 4 and subtract equation 3, right? Um, so, 4x take away uh, x, 4x is nothing, 3y take away 2y is 1y, and 110 take away 100 is 10. y is equal to 10, let's sub it back in here into equation 1, so sub in 1, we get 2x plus 10 is 50, 2x therefore is 40, subtracting 10 off both sides, and x is equal to 20. So our solution our x is 20, y is 10. Let's underline our work for the examiner, let's check it works. 2 times 20 is 40, 40 plus 10 is 50, 4 times 20 is 80, 3 times 10 is 
30, 80 plus 30 is 110, uh, which is £1.10, so we're correct. Example 3. The diagram shows a rectangle. All sides are measured in centimetres, and it says part A show the following is true. Now, remember for a rectangle, this side and this side must be equal, and this side and this side must be equal to each other. Right? So therefore, these two sides being equal, that must tell us that 5a must be a equal to 18 subtract 2b. Let's add 2b to both sides. And we would get 5a plus 2b is equal to 18. That's exactly what we want for part a. Part b, write down another equation in terms of a and b. Well, these two must equal each other. So 3a must equal... Uh, 5b plus 17. Let's get it looking a bit like the one here. Let's subtract the 5b of both sides. So 3a subtract 5b is equal to 17. And we're done for part b. Solve the two simult uh, equations simultaneously to find a and b. Okay, so for part c, here are our two equations. I'll write them small. 5a plus 2b is equal 18 and 3a subtract 5b is equal to 17. Right, so in order to do this we need to make the x or y number the same. Let's multiply this equation, I'll call this equation 1 and this equation 2. Let's get the a's the same. Right, let's multiply equation 1 by 3 and equation 2 by 5. In which case we get 15a plus 6b is equal to 18 times 3 which is equal to 54. Let's multiply this by 5, I get 15a, subtract 25b is equal to 17 times 5, which is equal to 85. Okay, I'm just going to move this stuff just over a little bit here so we can see it. Now let's call that equation one, uh, 3 and that equation 4. Let's take equation 4 and subtract equation 3. So 15a, take away 15a is no a. Negative 25b, take away 6b, would be equal to negative 31b. And 85, take away 54, would be equal to 31. Divide by negative 31, b is therefore negative 1. Substituting back in, let's say here, 5a plus 2 times negative 1 would be 5a minus 2 is 18. So I get 5a minus 2 is 18. Adding 2 and divided by 5, I get a is 4, right? So, therefore, a is equal to 4, b is equal to negative 1. That's my solution to part c. Does it hold with, with uh, these equations here? Well, let's see up here. 3 times a would therefore be 12. 5 times b plus 17. 5 times minus 1 would be minus 5. Plus 17 would be 12. They work. Uh, 5a would be 20. And 2 times b would be negative 2. 18 subtract negative 2 would be 20. Everything works out. It says, hence work out the area of the rectangle part D. Um, actually, I'll go, go down the page here. It's getting a bit... D, the area of a rectangle is base times height. So the dimensions are 20 times 12. So 20 multiplied by 12 would be equal to 240 centimetres squared. Example 4. Two rectangles have the following dimensions. Work out x and y. This rectangle here is a rectangle, so remember that side is equal to that side, so this must be 3x, and that side must be that side, so that must be 2y. And similarly, this side must equal this side, so that's 5x, and this side must equal this side, so that's 6y. And we're told the perimeter in this one's 21, the perimeter here is 43. So if I add up all these distances, I would have 6x's plus 4y's from, from this one must equal 21. And from this one here, I must have that 10x's plus 12y's must equal 43. Right? So actually, I'm going to write these down here. Now I'm going to multiply, I want the numbers to be the same in front of either the x or y. Let's choose to multiply this equation here, equation 1, uh, by 3. 
So I'd get 18x plus 12y is equal to 63. And this equation will say the same, 10x plus 12y is 43. It's equation 3 and 4. Let's subtract them, 3 take away 4. Uh, I'd get 8x would be 20. So x would be 20 uh, divided by 8, which would be 2.5. And substituting back in here, uh, 10 times 2.5 is 20. Uh, so this here, I should go down the page here, sub in 2. So 10 times 2.5 would be 25 plus 12y is 43. 12y must be 43, take away 25, so be 18. And y is 18 divided by 12, which is 1.5. So x is 2.5, y is 1.5, underline. Let's check it works. If x is 2.5, this here would be 7.5, this would be 7.5 y is 1.5, so this would be 3, this would be 3. These would add up to 21. If x was 2.5, this would be 12.5, 12.5. This would be 9 and 9. And we'd have ourselves uh, definitely 43. So we're done. Last example, example 5, probably the hardest example. A, B, C, D is a cyclic quadrilateral. Work out the values of x and y. Whereas a cyclic quadrilateral... Opposite angles add to 180. And the same thing would be true for these opposites. So that's the rule you need to know. Therefore, x plus y adds to 180, equation 1. And these two added together would 2x plus 15 plus y subtract 45 equals 180. Just before we label that, let's tidy this up. We've got 2x and a y, so keep those first. Then we'd have 15, plus 15, subtract uh, 45 would be negative 30, is equal to 180. Let's add the 30 to both sides just to tidy it up, would be 210. And that would be our equation too. So, um, let me just shrink this here. So I'm just going to write the two equations we've got then. We've got x plus y is 180, equation 1. And we've got 2x plus y equals 210, equation 2. If we did equation 2 take away equation 1, 2x take away x is 1x, y take away y is nothing, 210 take away 180 is 30. So x is 30, submit it back in here, y must be equal to 150. And checking in here it works, it does indeed work. So x is 30, y is 150. How do we know it works? 30 and 150 add to 180. 2 times 30 is 60. 60 plus uh, 15 would be equal to 75. And 150 take away 45 would be 105. These two add to 180. And so we're done. And that's it for this particular video. Um, then I'd suggest uh, you move on now to uh, a next video, which will be coming up shortly, solving quadratic equations algebraically. Um, so do check out the YouTube channel or Twitter if you want to keep in contact and see when those videos are coming up. Uh, but for now, I'm checking out and see you next time.